Hello, I'm Atu Jamir and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9, now news and details. PM Narendra Modi and Russian President Putin are likely to hold talks tonight. The talks amid India's request for a safe passage for Indian nationals in conflict areas like Kharkiv. This will be the second talk after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Earlier, Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Andyam Bakchi said that close to 17,000 Indian nationals have left Ukraine so far, including some whose names were not earlier registered. Bakchi said six flights have landed in India from Ukraine so far and 15 flights are scheduled over the next 24 hours. The Indian Air Force has also joined Operation Ganga, Bakchi said. A flight from Pucharas to Delhi tonight, he said. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on Wednesday that if a third world war were to take place, it would involve nuclear weapons and be destructive. The RIA news agency reported Lavrov has said that Russia, which launched what it calls a special military operation against Ukraine last week, would face a real danger if Kyiv acquired nuclear weapons. A week after launching its invasion of Ukraine, Russia said its forces took control of the first sizable city on Wednesday, seizing Kherson in the south as fighting raged around the country and western nations tightened an economic noose around Russia. More than half a million Ukrainians have fled the fighting since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a full-scale invasion of his southern neighbor nearly a week ago. Russian bombardments of Ukrainian cities continued with video posted on social media showing heavily damaged buildings around the second city of Kharkiv. Kherson, a port city in Ukraine, was taken over by Russian forces on Wednesday as the Kremlin's invasion of its neighbor turned more brutal on its sixth day. According to a report by Interfax, Russia's defense ministry said its forces had captured Kherson. The city governor earlier said Kherson was completely surrounded by Russians. Russia said it would press forward with its military advances in Ukraine. Its assault on the country's second largest city, Kharkiv, continued on Wednesday with its mayor stating residential areas were being bombarded. Video circulating online of an apparent, apparent attack on the regional police and intelligence headquarters in Kharkiv showed a building with its roof blown off and its top floor on fire. Pieces of the five-story building are strewn across adjacent streets. The Ukrainian government Center for Strategic Communications released images when a day of strikes hitting Kharkiv with balls of fire lighting up the city's skyline over populated areas. Russia is working to put in place humanitarian corridors for the safe evacuation of Indian nationals stranded in conflict zones in eastern Ukraine and will conduct an investigation into the death of an Indian student in Kharkiv, Russian ambassador-designate Denis Alipov said on Wednesday. The evacuation of some 4,000 Indians stuck in Kharkiv, Sumy and other conflict zones in eastern Ukraine has become the top priority of the Indian government following the death of 21-year-old medical student Navin Shekharapa Gayan Gwar on Tuesday. The Russian side hopes to have humanitarian corridor in place as soon as possible so that Indians in these conflict zones can be moved to Russian territory, Alipov told a virtual briefing. The Russian side also intends to stop the military operations in Ukraine as soon as possible as the situation is a tragedy for both countries, he added. Alipov offered his deepest condolences over the death of Gyan Dogar and conveyed his sympathy to the student's family and the Indian nation. Russia will do everything it possibly can to ensure the safety of Indians in conflict zones, he said, adding that there will be an investigation into the death of the Indian student. Nagaland's Chief Minister Nipiryo today inaugurated the new office building of the Directorate of Municipal Affairs in Kohima. The new building is located adjacent to Directorate of Urban Development, new Secretariat site. Speaking on the occasion, Rio said, There is a mad rush for urbanization and unless we have a system to regulate it and have modern town planning, including building by laws, it will not be livable. He informed that Nagaland has witnessed the urbanization decadal growth rate at 67.38%, which is more than double of national percentage. We have to bring a system of or else our cities will not be livable, he said. To this, he called for collective efforts to increase the quality of living in the state. 
Referring to 74th Amendment of Municipal Affairs and Town Councils, Rio said that there is unresolved conflict in the state for which state have problems still today, wherein the state could not implement the reforms. On 15th Finance Award for the ULBs, he said that it has become mandatory to implement and transform the cities. Rio further said that with the introduction of municipal affairs cell in the state in 2002, it had somehow able to manage the affairs of the municipal and town councils, thereby improving to a reasonable ranking of Kohima City. He called for creation of innovative ideas to improve the livability of the state. The Chief Minister also said that women should be part of and parcel of decision-making body. With regards to tax, he said that the urban local bodies and the Finance Commission have to impose taxes for the facilities that are provided to the public for development. Today's Rio requested the department to initiate tour to all the towns and interact with the local leaders. With great sense of satisfaction and happiness, I've come to elaborate the new directorate building for Municipal Affairs Department. Indeed, it is my privilege and I want to congratulate the department, particularly the engineer wing in the house who had made the architect designs and also the structural drawings. We should continue to utilize the Municipal Affairs Department, the knowledge and engineering teams. And not only for your directorate, for your department, Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Advisor Dr. Nikki Sali Nikki Kire maintained that the officers and staff will now be able to work more efficiently with the integration of the new office building. The new office building also features emergency exit route, fire emergency, lifts and ramps for differently abled persons. We have a member of the committee with this, I believe, called Accessibility in Indian Campaign Center where people from Delhi have come to, you know, see buildings that are being constructed. So at that point of time, there was no issue of making ramps or, you know, making exit, exit route. But uh, we had also requested the contractor to keep provisions for even the emergency exit route, which are all kept. But because of the innovation, we wanted to see that uh, this area is still kept free so that in future, with the blessing of our noble Chief Minister, who also holds the Minister in charge of urban and municipal, I'm quite positive that some additionality will be added so that we can do that, exit, then provide. Nagaland Optometric Association President Keza said that numerous optical shops in the state, particularly in Kohima and Dimapur, are being run by unprofessional who have not received any formal degree in the field and are providing computerized eye checkup. Optical, which comes under health services, should also run by qualified prof professionals. He expressed concern by the activities of the certain optical shops in Nagaland running without eye care practitioners, ophthalmologists, optometrists and ophthalmic. Assistants. These shops, he said, are registered by the state municipal corporations and other commerce and trade bodies. But no check is being maintained on the quality or standard of the human resources running them. Therefore, he stressed on the need for regulating, which is of utmost importance as a large number of optical shops are opening up in every nook and corner of the state. Magalan Optometric Association is deeply concern about the activity of certain optical shops in Nagaland. It has been observed that many opticals are mushrooming in every nook and corner of the state and most of it are owned by an unprofessionals. These unprofessionals without having formal degree in this field are providing computerized eye checkup and also provides optical needs which comes under 
health services. There were cases where, without having proper eye checkup, spectacle power glasses were dispensed over the counter, and these unprofessionals are also seen fitting contact lenses without having proper hygiene and knowledge. Spectacle power needs to be dispensed under professional guidance where certain measurements are required for a proper fit. Likewise, contact lens, which is a medical device, needs to fit under the expertise of eye care professionals. Using of contact lens without having proper lens feeding and instructions and follow-ups can result in complications like eye infection and even permanent vision loss. As an association of eye care practitioners, we are worried about the health services gives by these unprofessionals. So we urge the public to stay away from such quakes and get your eye tested. The Pariyata Janata Yuva Morcha, BJYM, held a political awareness program today at Senapati District. Speaking at the program, Nagaland's Pariyata Legislative Party leader and Deputy Chief Minister, Y. Patton strongly condemned the speech made by the senior working president of NPF against the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. Such remarks can't be accepted and tolerated, he said. Deputy Chief Minister said, Sena Party has been neglected for a long time and the people should come out for development through their intending candidate, Jonathan Tao. He requested all the supporters to come under one umbrella to give support and vote for Jonathan so that the PJP will come together and work together for the welfare of its state and people. He also stated that as the Nagaland PJP Karya Kartas have come to campaign for the intending candidate, therefore it is the responsibility of the people to help him win and that everyone will celebrate the victory. Naglin State President PJP and Ministers of Higher Education and Tribal Affairs, Temjin Imna Along, said that election is a time that the people take a step to choose to represent their aspirations, their dreams, and also the hope that the people have. He said that the intending candidate, Jonathan Tao, is a hardcore party worker, a Karya Karta, who has served in the world's largest party, PJP, for almost 20 years. He further urged the people to vote for PJP to bring change under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The right to choose your representative to stand for you, to deliver unto you the needs of the people of the constituency and the state. Today, we present before you Sri Jonathan Tao, a hardcore party worker, a karyakarta. The 14 Sumi Ho Ho Trophy kicked started at Surohoto Town today with PHED Minister Jacob Jumomi as the chief guest of the inaugural program. Addressing the gathering, Minister Jumomi called all the participants to show true sportsmanship. He advised that one should pursue its goals, professions with prayer. The minister also urged the members to preserve one's own culture and traditions and mother tongue, pointing out that Nagaland is salaried economy depending on central government funding he called upon the youths to utilize god's gift talent for self sustainability lamenting that many nagas are getting lost while living the lifestyle ones can't afford jimomi advised the youths to live according to their income <laughs> 
ชุนซุนบาบุชุนจมุกุมซุนชาชุนจมุนงบกับซากิมเดชุนเลงเอนาลฮุยเยนงนบกับซากุชุนงบมุญินะเกมอาเจเกติชเปงอบายเกมเ
मुख्य बिंदु इसलिए है क्योंकि आप अब एक मार्च पर हैं ऑनवर्ड मार्च पर हैं और उस मार्च में उस आगे बढ़ने में दिशा निर्देश आवश्यक है मेरा पहला पॉइंट है ऑलराउंड कॉम्पिटेंस ग्रहण करना आज इस परेड के बाद जब आप जाते हैं तो उसके बाद पहला पॉइंट आपके लिए है कि आप ऑलराउंड कॉम्पिटेंस ग्रहण करें और दूसरा पॉइंट दूसरा बिंदु जिस पर मैं बात करूंगा वो है कि आपका सर्विस रिस्पांसिबिलिटी उसी के साथ साथ आप महिला हैं तो आपकी परिवार की भी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी होगी तो इसमें तालमेल और समन्वय यह कैसे रखना है और तीसरा आपका चिंतन क्या होना चाहिए First of all, congratulations. Abni kan pasot hua karne. To kini ka lagya se abni kan ito training kri ke na aji pasot hua do. Ah, aji yede amyan eleven months to kam kri na aisha. To yede training di di na hado amyan. So ab jaga the change change hui ke na hado amyan. Physically bhi change change ekta aisha. Mentally bhi sab change change ekta aisha. To amyan do aji la ito din de ekta proud feel kri se. Kini mite ito abni to army join kri se. First of all, yede amyan. Kita asam rifle guna saya nak jaya, mai kian tu pilih kumpul di kiri. Aro naga manusia lebi mai kian tu asam rifle tu join kau tu emang nai. Amin bi itu ke ekta bahasa sih. Aro itu tu try guru lagi. Aro ye dek kau bi nai mai kian emang tu nai tu apa? Mai kian ni mide guna ekta. Amin bi represent tu guru lagi ye guna aci bi ye dek ahi nai nai sih. Bishi khushi bhai se aro bishi honored aro privilege feel kau se asam rifle de ekta. Soldier kau na asam rifle la part hole le do, bishi tangor kota se. Aro aji yade parade march kau dem de parents kampai bi witness kau se. Aro itu tan mui karni proud graph feel kau dikhi na mui bi bishi khushi bhai se aro this eleven months to mui bi inya satisfaction aro inya hard work kau do pay off kau se inya bishi khushi bhai se. Apni kala parents bi support asna kini kau se aro kini mite apni itu Asam Rafael to join Kriji. Parents can obviously be supportive as a from the very beginning support Kriji na ishe tahan mo ila dreams there. Aro not just the Asam Rafael can duty duties can operation pishi gure tangor hua dem dibi idu ikla dikhi na tangor hoishe. To tahan ki uniform lakai na duty perform kriji dikha dem de bishi inspire feel kriji aro मुझे भी एक दिन तो तंग और हो आप इसे दे आर्मी ही ज्वाइन करो इन्हें इंस्पिरेशन तक इसे इधर बिशे दे अब एसएससी रेली थ्रू पास आउट करेगी ना या दे आइशे और आज ही पास आउट हुए से तो अंतिम आपने ला बचा के आज ही बचा तो पास आउट हुई थी तो आपने ला बचा इधर साम रेफल दे पता है कि ना न मैं बहुत भाल पाई चु ओकमोर करने बाब भारतों करने मोर स्वाली जुनिए आग भारी जापो होटाई करने ओकमोर देहा रो करने ये निजोर कम आग भारी कोई ठाई बो मैं बीए बिंग एल्डर ब्रदर आई एम रियली वेरी प्राउड टुडे एंड प्रोबेबली दिस इज़ द बेस्ट डे आई हैव एवर बीन सेलिब्रेटेड और यू नो एन्जॉयड आई एम द हैप्पीस्ट पर्सन टुडे तो सी माय सिस्टर इन सच पोजीशन एंड मी माय मॉम एंड द एंटायर फैमिली हैज डन अ लॉट ऑफ सेक्रिफाइस फॉर दिस एंड टुडे वी आर रियली हैप्पी फॉर हर सिस्टर एंड I wish and I, I, I request all the, uh, you know, uh, the young generation, especially the females, should come up with uh, all those activities and they should do something extra, which is not usual at home or society. So, I am my brother is here, and I am here. So, how do you feel today? I feel very proud. I mean, here in the first time in the first time in the first time, इतने बड़े कंडीशन में मैं पेट कमांडर बनी इसके लिए बहुत गर्वशाली मतलब बहुत भाग्यशील मैं मानती हूँ इवेंट टुडे इट इज अनपैरलल 
I have not seen such a thing. I have not heard of uh, all women passing out from any regimental training center. And uh, above all, the women empowerment, which is the mission of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, I saw it practically on the ground. And uh, in world, not only in India, in world, the type of show, the type of drill, the type of uh, movement, the type of precision, the type of word of command these ladies put up today, nowhere in the world it is happening. My congratulations go to the Director General of Assam Rifle, uh, his vision, his planning, his administration, his logistic <coughs> purview, superb and the training center commander, they have done wonders. I think our nation is marching ahead. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV.